Hi guys, in today's video we'll be making an easy dashing ability. First, select our player and give it a trail renderer component. Decrease the width and add a key and drag it down. Now, decrease the time to 0.5 seconds and disable emitting as we only need it to emit when we dash. Now, change the material to a default line. Click on the color and select the arrow on the top right and make the opacity 0. Now, click on the bottom left arrow and change the color to any color you like. Now, open the player movement script in Visual Studio. As you can see, I already have a pre-made movement script here. Firstly, add the public float dash power with the value of 30. Then, make private floats dash time and dash in cooldown, and give them these values. Then make the private boolean is dashing and can dash. Now in the start method, check can dash to true as we won't be able to dash when we start. Now scroll down and add the private i enumerator called dash. First, set is dashing to true and can dash to false. Create a new float called original gravity and set it to our RB dot gravity scale. Now set the RB dot gravity scale to zero, so we are not affected by gravity while dashing. Set the player's RB dot velocity to a new vector two. Transform dot local scale dot x times dash power comma zero. Now scroll up and create a new private serialized square tray renderer and I'll just name it TR. Now set TR.emitting to true. Set the RB.gravity scale back to the original gravity variable and set dashing to false. By the way, right after we set tr.emitting to true, we need to return a new wait for seconds dash time and set the emitting back to false. Now add another yield wait for seconds and this time it will be dashing cooldown. And finally set the can dash back to true. Now go up to update method and type if input.get key down key code dot left shift and can dash we will start the coroutine dash so if the left shift button is pressed we basically dash now add another if statement this time if, if it's dashing then return and finally we need to add a fixed update method and do the same thing here Now go back to Unity, select the player and drag our trail renderer in the TR slot. Ok, now hit play and done. Ok guys, thank you for watching, please like the video if it was useful and comment what I should do next.